Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. I hope you're well. So today I am sharing with you my June plant haul. So all the plants that I have acquired during the month of June. I have been especially excited to share this haul with you because I did get some really exciting plants this month. Um, for a couple of reasons. One of them is that Crystal Stars had their restock and I got that order and it was also my birthday month so I just treated myself a little bit. So most of the plants I have to share with you this month are plants that are on the harder to find side where I live so it's very exciting for me and yeah I'm just really excited to show you them. Okay so I'm going to start with the order that I got from Crystal Star Nursery. I got five plants from them and if you're not familiar with them and you live in Canada you need to check them out especially if you like Hoyas. They have tons of really cool Hoya varieties um, and I think they also specialize in orchids and they do have some aeroids but um, yes okay so I will show you what I got from them. So the first plant that I got, I honestly cannot believe that I have this plant now. This is my Hoya polynura or fishtail Hoya. So those leaves there are all new growth since I have gotten it. This is what it looks like. I repotted it a probably a week or so ago and it's been doing really well. Um, Everything that I received from them was like perfect, amazing. I'm so pleased with my order and I will definitely be purchasing from them again. I know there was a lot of kind of like backlash slash, slash controversy um, because people were upset that the plants sell out so quickly, but honestly, that's just how most of the restocks are here in Canada. It's hard to get your hands on uncommon plants so yeah you just have to like be prepared for things to sell out super quickly um but no i think that i think that they are awesome and i am so pleased with um what i received and how fast i got it and shipping and everything like that so yes my hoya polynera oh my goodness she is so pretty if anyone has any care tips um for this so please leave them down below because i'm not super familiar with it and if it dies, I will be very upset. <laughs> okay, so the next plant I got from them is another Hoya, and it is my Hoya Rotunda Flora. It has these really cool, like, rectangular shaped leaves. It's so unique, and it's just one of those plants that's just kind of, like, weird looking. So that's why I was drawn to it. Um, and it came on this little trellis. It's so cute. I love it so much. Um, this is still in its original pot and everything this is how it was shipped to me and yeah i'm just so pleased like is this not the cutest like it's little leaves oh my gosh i love it and it's putting out some new growth too so cute so i'm super happy with that one the next thing i got from them was also another wish list hoya and it is the hoya linearis um which I also cannot believe that I have this plant. I've been wanting it for so long and was not seeing it for sale anywhere. Look, it's putting out new leaves right there. It's so cute. But yes, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have this plant. I cannot wait for it to grow and trail down. I just think these are so unique and cool and you guys know that I love trailing plants. So of course I have to have this guy. So the last two plants that I got from Crystal Star are not Hoyas. Um, so I got this Tritoscantia Nanook, um, or its technical name, I will put it here, but it is this beautiful lilac colored Tritoscantia. And this one's really cool because when I got it, I was expecting it to be like a regular like wandering dude with the flimsy leaves, but these leaves are like hard. They're like thicker leaves. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I just think it's such a pretty plant and I have not been able to find one. So I was stoked when they had one. And then the last plant that I got in that order is my Monstera Peru or Monstera Carcinianum. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Um, but yes, it's so beautiful. Look at the leaves on this guy. Oh my goodness. They are so like thick and textured and just really like jurassic looking they just have such a cool look to them i love them so much i love that pattern in the vein nation 
and this is actually a new leaf that is just unfurling here so he is doing really well but i have a few more to share with you that are not from crystal star nursery so this guy you have probably seen if you watched one of my latest videos or if you follow me on instagram it is my variegated string of hearts yes that is all we have there is that little strand um so yeah the story with this guy is i got it um it looked like not the best when i um received it and one of the vines completely died off and this one was not looking good either so i basically rehabbed it using the ziploc bag method made a little diy greenhouse popped it under my grow light and it has been giving me new growth so i think it will be okay some of you guys have been asking about this guy and yes here it is i think we are good fingers crossed that it just keeps growing but yes it is continuing to put out new growth so i'm really happy about that yes i cannot wait until this guy is a larger plant one day okay and then next i actually did a trade it was my first plant trade um which is really exciting and this is like the way to go like i am gonna be all about trades now um, so I traded for this um, beautiful Hoya Bella. I actually traded a rooted cutting of my Hoya Wyetii for this guy. And um, the person that I traded with was so generous with the cuttings that she gave me. This is only one of them. There is two more cuttings that she gave me. Like, I, like she's so generous. This is a huge cutting. And I have two more that I'm not even showing you. And they have multiple peduncles. Like, oh my god look at that there's another one on this side too like i cannot believe it this is probably gonna be my first hoya that blooms well we'll see how it does once i pot it up but yeah it's so cool i am totally onto the hoya train right now like i just want to collect more hoya varieties um i have just really been loving them so yeah i can't wait until this guy roots up some more it does have small roots already but um, obviously I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer before I pot it up. Oh yeah, and when she brought over those super generous cuttings, she also brought me a little bonus plant and it is a, she said this is a dancing dolphin vine and when I looked it up, it looked similar to a goldfish plant. Um, so I don't know if it's just that the blooms are a little bit different or something, I'm not sure, but it's a little, little cutting of that it's really cute i'm excited to see how it does and maybe it will bloom for me one day too the last plant that i got is another really exciting one so this is my philodendron milano chrysum it's obviously just a baby i was actually able to find this guy locally which is so cool from a really nice girl a really nice woman i hate saying girl woman um yes so thank you so much vanessa this is just such a beautiful plant and i cannot wait to see it grow it's coming out with a new leaf right there you can see it um and i hear that these are pretty easy going so we shall see and i know that they really like to climb so once it gets larger i will definitely be um giving it a pull of some sort but yes i just recently switched it to soil from moss and it seems to be doing well so yeah oh my goodness it's so cute okay so that wraps up my plant haul for the month of june if you guys have any care tips or anything to share with me please leave it in a comment down below i have been really loving chatting with you guys you guys honestly teach me so much in the comments it's unreal um i'm thinking of actually switching some or putting some of my plants in leka now and experimenting with that because a lot of you guys were commenting that my thai constellation would probably do well that way so yeah i really um, enjoy all of the knowledge that you share with me and I just love chatting with you guys. I've also been having a bit of a rough week so I hope that that did not translate too much in this video but if I seem a little off then that's why but um, it's all good I will be fine and um, as always I hope you guys are well please don't forget to like this video if you liked it it really helps me out on the YouTube algorithm and and of course subscribe to my channel if you want to see more plant videos i upload every monday and thursday okay thank you guys so much for watching bye